Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will show you how to create a case. From the home page, you can either select the Create button and select Case, or select the Quick Links and proceed to select the Create Case Wizard. The Case Wizard pop-up box should have appeared. From here, you will apply settings you want for this case. You will first select the department, meaning which location. You will let the software auto-generate a case number for you, or you can select the case number yourself. You will give it a case name, if you wish to apply one. You will then select the case process. By doing so, the system will gather forms, process steps, and document checklists for a particular case. We already have these preloaded for you to choose from, and you can customize these in the admin tools if needed. Finally, you will select the program type and category. These are more for reporting purposes and can also be customized in the admin tools. You will click on Next. You will now assign caseworkers to this case. You can add more by searching a caseworker's name and clicking on their name once found. We will then decide which user we want their info to transfer to forms by clicking the Transfer to Forms button. We will click on Next. We will now link a client to the case. You can do this by searching their name. Once found, select them and they are now linked to the case. You will define their role. You will find other client profiles you wish to link to the case, such as someone petitioning for a relative. Proceed to search them, select them, and apply their role as beneficiary or alien. If creating an employment case, it's similar. You will search for the employer and select them. Once added, you will define their role as employer. By doing so, it allows you to select branch address and signatory you linked in the employer's members tab. You will then link the employee, who they are petitioning for, and link them as alien. You will make one of these clients as the main party and click on Next. You are now at the area that lists the forms. If you selected a case process on step 1, it will list forms associated to this case. If you didn't, you can manually add these here by searching and selecting the form. Once you have your forms, you will finalize by clicking on Save. Your case has now been created and you should be brought into the case to start working on the forms. If you ever need to come back and access the case, you can search it on the home page, specifically the Cases section, or if within the Client Profile, go to the Cases tab and you will find it there. Lastly, any recently created or updated case profiles will appear here on the home page. This concludes our video on creating a case profile.